The most revolutionary carbine was this carbine. Um, this was invented by an, a man named Christopher Spencer, uh, and Spencer came up with several brilliant ideas, one of which was a new cartridge. His cartridge was totally self-contained. It looks like, a, pretty much like a modern cartridge, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. it's, uh, like, it looks like a giant 22. His cartridge was the standard lead mini ball, but the cartridge itself is totally self-contained. It has the powder in this copper case, and instead of having a percussion cap for priming, the primer is in that rim around the base of it. So it has the rim going around the base of the cartridge. So you don't need a percussion cap. Is that a big jump? Mm -hmm. It's a huge jump. And if that wasn't a jump enough, to load it, he invents a magazine that goes in the back of the uh, carbine. So this magazine holds seven cartridges. So if, you're, if you have a Spencer carbine, and if you're in a battle, a fight, the soldiers would typically have the thing loaded with this magazine like that. They would have had seven magazines in a pouch or in a box attached to their saddle. And so to fire it, all you had to do is load it, do that, cock it, fire it. So you can shoot it uh, just dozens of shots within a very brief time. It was incredibly effective. Does the Army adopt it? Yes, Why would the Army not adopt it? Oh. It's simple, it's very efficient, super well made, but why would they not adopt it? It wasn't that expensive, but it was expensive to shoot. The Army, uh, the but the guys counting the beans were looking at it and they're going, soldiers will waste too much ammunition. They said it's too easy to shoot, soldiers will waste ammunition, we're not going to, uh, to buy this gun for the, for the army. That makes sense, doesn't it? Spencer was one of those guys who doesn't give up. In a famous story, Spencer takes one of his carbines, he's frustrated with dealing straight with the army, he goes directly to the White House, he gets a meeting with Abraham Lincoln, and in a famous story, he and Abraham Lincoln go out on the White House grounds, and Abraham Lincoln gets to test fire one of these himself. As soon as he does this, Lincoln orders his generals, you're accepting this rifle. And so that's, that it took a, really a presidential order to take one of these, so, uh, or for us to adopt this. So this is the famous Spencer carbine.